Hello everyone, my name is Nino and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I will be making braised beef short ribs. But before we start, if you're a kid out there and you're watching this video and you want to learn how to cook just like me, please make sure you have an adult or a parent watching over you, especially while you're using sharp objects. But if you don't feel comfortable using sharp objects, ask an adult or a parent to do it for you. Now, we can start. Here I have some beef short ribs that are cut already. Here I have some salt and pepper seasoning. Here I have some carrots, celery, onion, garlic that I took, that I cut the heads and leave the skin on, just like this. Here I have some dried bay leaves, some thyme and rosemary here. Here I have some tomato paste. Here I have some red wine. And here I have some beef stock and here I have some oil for sauteing and searing. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is season my beef. Maybe. Here. And I'm gonna transfer my beef short ribs in the bowl. Alright. And then I'm going to season it with some salt and pepper. I'm gonna salt and pepper. Alright. And now time for our pepper. A bit more. Alright, now I'm going to mix it and then after I mix, I'm gonna start searing. I'm gonna sear. All right, gonna mix it more. All right, that's enough. Now, I'm gonna start searing. Enough oil. All right. Down a little bit. All right. And I'm gonna turn my heat to medium. A little bit over medium. And I'm gonna shut them in. All right. Now I'm gonna put in how much meat my pan holds and I'm just looking for a nice brown golden brown color before I put it in the oven or else if I just put it in the oven straight away it's gonna look like boiled meat right. so I'm a nice golden brown color I'm not gonna cook it all the way through because as I said I'm gonna finish it in the oven Great. Not gonna spray that one, I'm gonna keep it in check. Okay, maybe a little bit more and I'm gonna start flipping. <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna flip. Yeah, that's just nice. Flip. Right, I might turn my heat down to medium. Once I'm done searing this, I'm going to put it in here. Flip it again, because that is not, I need to get the color I want. Yeah, I might flip it again for both sides. Until I get the color I want. After this flip, I'm going to flip on the other side one more time. Alright. 
good. Alright, now some good color. I'm gonna put them in my tray. Okay. So after I put these in my tray, I'm going to start sauteing my vegetables and put in my sauce. As I am doing this, I preheat my oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, these are done. I'm gonna put these to the side and I'm going to start sauteing my vegetables. And if there's any juices in the pan, you're gonna use that. Okay, your vegetables. Okay. And then my carrots first. Mix it a little bit. And I'm gonna wait for my carrots to turn to become a little bit soft and then I'm going to put in my celery. Alright. Okay. Okay. Right. Celery and I'm going to let this cook for a little bit mix it again and then I'm going to put in my onion after. Okay. Right. Onion. Okay. This will give a lot of flavor to our braised beef. And we can put our garlic in now. And you're gonna you wanna put your garlic the cut side on the pan just like this. And the other ones too. Okay. The piece and one more. All right. And then I'm going to add in my tomato paste. All right. Put my tomato paste in. All right, tomato paste goes in. All right. All right, mix this. All right, cook. And after, I'm gonna add my red wine. Make sure the smell, the alcohol evaporates. Smell the alcohol evaporating. All right, good. And after, I'm gonna add my beef stock. This goes in. Before this boils, I'm gonna put it in here, season it with some salt and some pepper. One, two, now this is boiling, I'm gonna put it in my beef first. We're gonna put our herbs. Stir with all the time. And rosemary and our dried bay leaves. And so more. Now we are going to put this in the oven for one and a half to two hours. Before that, add this on. All right. 
right, make sure this is tightly sealed so none of the juices come out. If you have a braising pot, you can use that. But since I don't have one, I'm just using a normal hotel pot. And this is tightly sealed. Now I'm going to put it in my oven. Let's go. After two hours, I pulled my beef out and I took out my bay leaves, thyme, and rosemary. And I took all my cooking liquids plus the vegetables, put it in a food processor and puree it. And after I puree it, I put it in a pot and used cornstarch dissolved in water and mixed it. And I got a thick and glossy sauce. All right, eat now. Mm. I really like it. Thanks again for watching in this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Saperini Nino's Kitchen. And always remember, keep calm and love cooking.